welcome to another video in which we will talk about how to use Turnitin to check plagiarism of your documents. Now, first of all, Turnitin is one of the softwares that can be used to check plagiarism. It is a, a paid software and it is a web based software, which means it is not something that you can download and install on your computer. So in order to check plagiarism in Turnitin, you need to go to your browser and then you need to type in turnitin.com. It's going to take you to this page and you need to make sure that you have this account, already made account and a password of this thing. Otherwise, uh, if you're using it for free, uh, you might not be able to use it because it is a paid software and usually the higher education commissions uh, provide this uh, software to universities or faculty members. But if you, uh, as a single user, you want to use it, it is a uh, paid software. So uh, because I will, I have already logged in. So uh, it's not going to ask me many questions, but for the first time users, it is going to ask you a few questions. For example, the area uh, to which you belong to and uh, some other things but just answering a few questions you can just log in by giving your uh, email address and password so once you log in it is going to give you this kind of uh, screen now uh, there are things that we know uh, we need to know step by step first of all i have already created one class here with the name of mba but once you will be using it uh, without any uh, class or when you will be using it for the first time, first you need to create a class. So in order to create a class, you will go to this add class button, which is there on the uh, right uh, middle of the screen. So once we'll click add class, it's going to take us to this kind of screen in which it's going to ask you a few questions. For example, standard class. Yes, it's a standard class. The name of the class, let's just put the thesis. Enrollment key, uh, you can just give any four numbers to uh, this enrollment key. For example, one, two, three, four. Then subject area, whatever your subject area is, I'll go for business and economics. And student level, you can choose your student level or give any level. For example, I'll give it postgraduate. Now, the class start date, date is obviously the date of today. But this is going to ask you that class end date. So if you want to use this class for a long period of time, what you can do is you can uh, give it some time in the calendar. By looking here, you can give it, for example, February 2022. So I'll just give it 19th February 2022 and submit. It's going to take a few seconds and it's going to give you this class ID and enrollment number. Just click continue. And now, as you can see, your class of this thesis has been created here. So now you can uh, check the plagiarism of your document. The next step is that you'll click this thesis or the class name that you've just created. Now, as it's a new class, you will have to create an assignment before you uh, go on checking your plagiarism. So let's click this add assignment. And it's going to take some time. And it's going to take you to another page in which it will be asking you a few more questions. Now here. So assignment title, it can be anything, for example, uh, assignment one then we can go for point value you can just give it 100 point value and start date and then due date and then uh, post due date and then there are some optional settings so for now we, we're not going to go to these optional settings so just go for submit now that you've created a class this is what your class looks like now now the next thing that you have to do is you need to go to this action and view button. Once you'll go to this view button, it's going to take you to another window 
in which it will ask you to submit files. So next you're going to go to the submit file. Now here you need to know a few things. First of all, on the top of this page, there is a submit single file upload. So what you can do is you can just go for your first name, for example, ABC and your uh, last name XYZ and submission title, for example, title of your document, for example, I'm going to submit uh, a thesis. So I'll write thesis. So what you can do is you can now go and choose from your computer or from your Google Drive or from your uh, Dropbox. So I'll choose it from the computer and I'll go for one of the documents that I've just created. So you can go for this upload. But there's another method if you want to check more than one files at one time. So I'm just for the timing, I'm just going to clear file and I'm going to I'll go to this uh, multiple file upload. So this will give me options that with one click, I can upload multiple files at once to the Turnitin. So again, uh, if you want to write the name, first name, last name and the title, you can write those things here, but choose file and methodology. For example, this is the document I want to check plagiarism for. And it will take some time depending upon the length and the number of words of the documents. Now, if you want to choose more files, you can go for more files. And once you have uploaded all of your files, you can go for upload all. And then submit. It's going to say that it's going to take you to the box in three seconds. Now, this is where you can say that your submission is complete. And now you're just waiting for the turn it in to check your plagiarism. Now, if you're on the same page, what you can do is you can go for this refresh once. Now, till the time you see any similarity here, you're going to keep on going for refresh. But once I see some number here, which, which is saying similarity 38%. And this is the title of my document, which was the name of my document. So now I have to click this 38 or whatever percentage is there in the similarity box. Once I'll do this is going to get, take me to another window. Now there are a few more things that we need to know here. First of all, this window is going to give you a text only report, which means it's going to look like this. And you can always scroll down to see the complete plagiarism file because it was a small document. That is why it's only showing uh, very few words. Now on top of it, you can see that there is a word count here, 966 words. And then you can uh, do some other things. For example, if th there was uh, references there or bibliography or end references were there, you can go for this exclude bibliography. So once you're going to click this exclude bibliography. Okay. Now, if there, there was any bibliography or end references is going to exclude it as there were no references. We are left with the same similarity index, which is 38%. So I'm going to go back and include bibliography. Now, if you want your report to be in the same uh, format, which is a text only report, then you can just go to this arrow, which is on the right top corner and just click this arrow and it's going to ask you, okay. And now what you can do is you can go and save the documents as turn it in originality report, or you can change the name of the document. And this is how you're going to save it. You can send this document to anybody, but if you want to see this document it's going to take you to some browser and it's going to open it for you in this form. Now, this is your report. Now, the thing that we need to analyze here is that once we click this 38% now, how to interpret this uh, report. Now, we can see different colors here. 
there's a red color there's a green color and there are uh, there's going to be a blue color here so now what it is saying is that this red color text has been copied from this red color indicated reference this green color has been copied from this reference which is 5% 31% from this source 1% from this source and 1% from this source so if you want to see that if if somebody really has uh, had copied it from somewhere so you can go to this for example website is going to take you to that particular page from where it has been plagiarized so this thing has been plagiarized from this document now if you want to see this kind of report which which you've already downloaded then you are going to see that it's going to show you similarity index internet sources are 38% publications are 15% and student papers which have been submitted to some higher education commission is 0% so again it is telling you that this reference and this text are matching the color you match your text with the matching color and you'll get to know where you have copied it from now this black portion this black text is saying that it has not been copied from anywhere it is your own text so make sure that if you want to remove this plagiarism you need to paraphrase these uh, red and green and all colored text lines now the second thing that we want to know here is that some people are interested in getting the pdf version of this uh, plagiarism report so if you want to do that you need to just go to this document viewer on the left top corner and once you click this document viewer is going to take you to the pdf format of this report whatever formatting you have done in your uh, word file is going to convert it to pdf file so now the colored part is saying that it is a copied part but the black part which is not colored not highlighted is your own uh, uh, words so it's not copied now how do we save this file so if you just look at this uh, bottom left corner there's a option of printer download so once you click this it's going to give you option of download pdf of current view for printing so if i click this one is going to download a pdf file for me it is converting it it takes some time and then it is going to make it to a pdf file so once i have this methodology saved now i can open this file in pdf so again i'll have this colored part with the plagiarism report and it's going to say this highlighted part is plagiarized not highlighted part is not plagiarized so this is how you actually uh, check the plagiarism one last thing for example sometimes the settings are like this and you directly go to this pdf report so what if you want to go to the text only report from here so for doing that if you just look at this right bottom corner there is a tab known as text only report so text only report is going to take you to this previous format and from here if you want to go to the document viewer you can go to document viewer so this is how you uh, change from uh, window to window in order to get a report of your own choice so thank you very much